Clap, 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 clap. All right, uh, real claps. Real clap. Hey, greetings, and welcome to a designer studio edition of Brick, Brick Mania TV. I can say this. I can say this. So yep. I, I'm joined here by <laughs> Slam, who's also having a hard time talking now. <laughs> Hello. Uh, yeah, this is Brick Mania TV. I'm Slam. This is Dan. This is Holly. Holly, yes. And this is Super 6-4. Super 6-4, yes. And Super 6-4 is a MH60L Lima. Uh, uh, variant of the Blackhawk. Yes, the Blackhawk. Super 6-4 actually was, in the Battle of Mogadishu, was one mm -hmm. of the two helicopters shot down that day by RPGs. And, um, it, mm -hmm. we are recreating it. We've done other, we've done other helicopters in the past, other, other uh, versions of the Blackhawk, other versions of, of Blackhawks that were there during what I guess was uh, Operation Gothic Serpent. Correct, yep. But the, uh, you guys probably know it as Blackhawk Down because that was where the movie and the book were, were, were written based and, and, and based off, yes. Yes. And this has the super famous pilot from the movie. Michael from, Durant. Uh, Michael Durant, who yeah. survived. Was captured Durant. and then eventually released, so yeah. Yeah, so this is, the, this is Venom. Uh, I originally did all the named helicopters in a sticker pack. Right, right. Way back, way back when. That was years ago. That was back before yeah. printing on, on parts was really, uh, it was out of our reach. It was just Correct. not our capability, so. So it was neat to be able to go back for me and revisit that art for the word Venom. Yeah. Uh, so now it's all printed. Yeah. All yeah, these parts printed. are printed, and it's actually just super beautiful. It's hard to show you everything, but even the formation markings on it are, are added this time. Tail tail piece, the tail rotor is printed on both sides. Yep, double sided, um, multi part print. Yeah. yeah. Even, see, even Holly wants to go check out the other side. So we we've got things on here printed that we've never printed before. The doors, the window frames, the. Yep. Yeah, you name it. So it, it, uh, the window frames turned out great. I especially love them in black. We've done them in gray before. Right. This is the first time we've done them in black, I believe. Yeah. yeah. The printing on the on the tail. It's just it's just fantastic. And look, the doors open and close. That's 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 I mean, that's the state of the art Blackhawk. Right. 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 Yeah. This this is not state of the art for for real Blackhawks, but it sure is for the Brickmania Blackhawks. So this is this is the culmination of a lot of years of development refinement. You have opening doors for the, the pilots that wasn't on the original version. So uh, it's just been an, an upgrade, a continual up series of upgrades every time we release a new Blackhawk, which is quite often. It's like three times a year, I think. So. If not more often. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so a, a Blackhawk based helicopter, yeah. usually not just a Blackhawk. So, so this is, this is um, Super 64 as it would have been in um, 1993, I believe, was yep. when, when, yep. The, when the 93? Battles were. Yeah. Yeah. And let's let's flip it around. So you've seen you've seen the helicopter. You've seen all the cool features. You know, as it comes with brick arms, mini guns as standard. Mm -hmm. um, that's your armament, your 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 uh, door gunner's armament. Uh, well, let's look at these figures. So Slim, explain. So, you made these figures. These aren't the originals. Long time ago, were done by Lando, but. <laughs> Yep, so I, I you, got got to try my hand at these minifigs. I don't do minifigs very often. It's like once a month or so I'll do some. And these guys are, have very similar kits with the same uh, vest and right. like chest rigging and stuff like that. So. Little known fact, Slam does do minifigures. It has quite a few under his belt at Brick Right, so. it's just not my primary role here. Uh, and this is a, a neat minifigure to do because there's some documentation, but all of it dates from the early 90s, so it's like the pol grainy, Polaroids grainy and, pictures and bad and, yeah. Kodak film, and right. uh, it's like you want to zoom and enhance and see what they are what they have on, and it's really, really tough. It, uh, it was at the low point of like photographic technology, oh, like everybody absolutely. had those crappy Instamatic cameras. And, uh, uh, yeah. Remember the disc camera? Oh yeah. <laughs> Kids these days don't understand how bad things were. So <laughs> They got anyway. worse before they got better. <laughs> right. Uh, so it was fun to research. Uh, I think I did a pretty good job of making them accurate. Uh, both, like, and the film did a lot to do that research too, so we can base it a little bit off the films. But again, there weren't many clear pictures of the aircraft no, no. from there. Uh, we've got some knee pads on the gunners, and you know the faces are close approximations to the historical uh, guys. Any yeah. any any similarities are not coincidental. Not coincidental. <laughs> right. so. Correct. Um, so. so I'm pretty proud of those guys. They, they turn out great. And of course, they're 160th source, so they're badasses. Yep. I mean, everybody at, like, really Operation Gothic Serpent and 
like it, that was a huge, huge uh, special forces rollout. It was Rangers. Right. Yeah. It was the SEALs. The, it was the Delta, Delta Force. Yep. Yep. Everybody uh, was. SOAR. If you were somebody, um, you were involved in that. Yep. So, yep. Uh, the Air Force, uh, like pararescue guys, yep. and uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, huge operation. Yeah, all the badasses one place. Right. Yep. Just one one particular battle, things went south for for a little while, mm -hmm. um, and this this the you know that's sort of a low point when this this helicopter got got shot down. Um, I don't think anybody was expecting the the the, the Somali militia to actually uh, engage the way they did. So. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, great film. Uh, yes. R remarkable uh, crew day in history. Yeah. So. I like the, the. I think this is the first time we've done a black. This this is the basic the the helicopter pilot helmet. I don't know if we've ever just done that straight up black before. Wow, it's the first time I've seen it. It looks yeah. gorgeous. I know it it's great. like it, it is such a beautiful beautiful helmet print. It's like an earlier earlier rendition of the the, the you know the, the ubiquitous helicopter pilot helmet. You know we have it in other versions with night vision goggles with the, the facial maxial shields, um, but this one's just the straight up helicopter helmet. It's great. I love it. Um, so you know one place to get it. So these are shipping out today. So if you ordered them, yeah. If you're seeing this video on the day it's released, you should your helicopter should be your kit should be in the mail or heading into the mail today. Mm -hmm. um, if it's one of the later, because we did have to do two batches. There were so many orders that first weekend that we ended up in a second batch. That may not be shipping out till next week, depending on which part you know when you ordered it in that release weekend. Yeah. So. So but, very, very cool. Um, yep. Otherwise, check the stores. They might have a few copies. Right. There's a few. Looked. Actually, there's a few online. We, we did oh. make enough that, that it did okay. make it. I think as of this morning, I looked, there was still some online. So um, if you if you missed out, you, you actually have a chance to just order it online. Or, of course, yes, visit your local store because they will have them in a few days if they don't have them already. Cool, cool. Uh, it's a great looking model, Dan. Right. Nice work on it. Sure. And this, I want to point out that this one is aircraft stand compatible. Oh. It does have the, the hole in the bottom where you can impale it with your air, aircraft stand. So that universal aircraft stand, I believe right now, they have actually sold out. I think the F-14 killed the, the inventory of that. Um, there are more in production. So if you don't see it now, they will be available very, very soon. Uh, cool. Of course, the retail stores have them. And your printed nameplate will snap right onto that aircraft stand. So, and you can Excellent. pose the aircraft stand so you can have this thing flaring, you know, doing landing, whatever you want to do. So, cool, yeah. cool, cool. That's the way to do it. Yep. Um, I forgot. I did a new flare ball for this guy. Oh, it is. It's update. There's a lot of updates on yeah, here. Just this... cute little boom boom. Yep. Out front. Yep. Flare the, ball. The first time we put the actual vent in the uh, the the cover up on top of the on the roof of the. That's a really hard place to print, everybody. Right. Let's just... Maybe we should rotate that print down to the side <laughs> a little bit. It looks, it looks great. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Right. I think it's accurate. It's showy. There's printing yeah. on the windows, too. The, the, the glass the, yeah, well, the glass on the windows is actually printed as well. So It's, it's got the hand-painted 64. Yeah, yeah. 6-4. Six 6-4. Four. Six four. So Super 6-4. Make sure you guys get, get in the right helicopter. Yeah. So I'm, I'm yeah. super happy with how this turned out. Um, this is sort of the pinnacle. They're not going to get much better. I, I, I think from this point on, this is the sort of standards you're going to you're going to expect in every Blackhawk or Blackhawk airframe. That we you know, it's going to get better. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, this, this is minimum. This, okay. this is the new. This is <laughs> the new. new this is the new baseline. Awesome. Um, and it's it's off, awfully cool. Um, you know, as of course, if you'd expect from one of it's super sturdy. It's super swooshable. You're not going to drop anything. It has a working winch. The doors work. The, yeah, the front yeah. doors work. You know the. If you really wanted to, you could put those uh, mini guns inside. I don't know why you'd want to, but um, you could drag you them through the window them. if you want. Yeah, you could yeah. stow them inside if you want. Hmm. Um, but yeah, it's 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 everything you'd want from a from a Blackhawk. The the rotors fold up, the tail folds up. This does not because the early versions did not have the oh. the, the, the folding tails. Uh, but you can t you can take the rotor off, and all it all does what it's supposed to do. Awesome. Yeah. Even if you want to do, you know, maintenance on that joint that's in there, you can open. Oh, you can. Yeah. It still does. Yeah, yeah, of course. Nice. They all, they all do. Yeah. There you go. So when they put this thing inside of a C-130, they would take that off. So there you go. There you go. <laughs> but nice. I don't. I don't think they usually do that. That's that's more of an access maintenance access thing than, than for storage. Anyway, I'm not a Black Hawk expert. I'm a Lego Blackhawk expert, <laughs> but certainly I'm no aircraft mechanic. Okay, <clears throat> fair enough. Uh, in this space, you're absolutely the Blackhawk expert. I think that's it, Dan. Yeah, I think I think that's another okay. an, another wrap on another awesome Blackhawk. Oh, I'm super excited about this one, and of course, I already have another one in mind for the next one. <laughs> oh, ooh. do tell what that's going to be.
Oh, I don't know. I can't. There's so many. We have to, <laughs> I, okay. I have several in mind. The schedule, the roulette mm. of the schedule will determine what's next. Okay. Early 2024. Next yes. Blackhawk. You know it. <laughs> cool. Right. Uh, thanks for tuning in, tuning in, everybody. This has been another Brick Mania Designer Studio. Yeah. Thank you, Slam. Thanks, Dan. See you next week. Next week. Boom. <laughs>